Number one, Taibot. Taibot, which made its American premiere at the World of Concrete show in 2020, has had a busy year working on bridge projects nationwide. Let's look at what it is first. The first in advanced construction robots planned range of autonomous robotic equipment, Taibot is an autonomous robotic rebar tying system. After being installed on a job site, Taibot requires only a few commands from a technician via a small remote control panel before it begins working robotically and artificially intelligently. Taibot autonomously navigates bridge decks using computer vision, locates and ties rebar connections, then moves on to the next intersection at a rate of around 1,000 ties per hour. According to ACR, one worker can often manufacture 150 to 250 ties every hour, which is a taxing, back-breaking activity. Although Taibot can be contacted and monitored via a belly box console, Taibot cannot be controlled remotely. Pre-programming and running from design files are not used. According to CROC, Taibot begins tying at each rebar mat intersection where a knot needs to be made. Number 2. Amphibious Excavator An amphibious excavator, sometimes a pontoon excavator or floating excavator, can do dredging while floating over soft ground, including swamps, wetlands, and shallow water. Traditional barge-mounted dredgers are less suitable for operations in swampland, clearing silted trenches, and working in shallow water than an amphibious excavator. Pontoons are hollow, airtight constructions used in water to provide buoyancy. They resemble pressure vessels. The pontoons are made of high-tension steel and are resistant to air corrosion and seawater. Each pontoon has five separate watertight chambers with access holes for maintenance. For use on uneven terrain, the pontoon bottoms are reinforced. An excavator engine and primary hydraulic pumps with traveling motors power the pontoon tracks. Because the chassis crawler floats on sealed pontoons, the amphibious excavator may operate or walk on water. It travels by employing a buoyancy tank with two bodies. The crawler chain is driven by a reducer, enabling effortless movement. Its upper structure is an excavator modified to enable hydraulic operation and full 360 degree rotation. Number three, dry stack. Dry stack is a solution for circular building with minimal CO2 emission. It is a building method by which structures are constructed from stones without any mortar to bind them together. You can compare it to the dry stone, dry stack stone technique traditionally used for the boundaries of fields and churchyards, or as a retaining wall for terracing across Europe. Stone cycling, which produces environmentally sustainable materials for construction made from trash and dry stack, created a new bricklaying method. Like in a fairy tale, they came together, formed a team, and surprised builders with an entire solution using eco-friendly bricks installed without mortar. The concept is straightforward. Bricks with holes are attached to one another using unique inserts. The buildings are simple to put together and take apart. You can work outside in any weather and save money by not having to buy mortar. As one can read on the website for this innovative product, this strategy enables projects to be carried out without needing additional certifications. Everything you design can be realized. Round walls, wavy facades, oblique patterns, diagonal lines, crosses, protruding parts, and much more. When combined with brick, mortar emits CO2, and the resulting debris cannot be recycled. This method eliminates that and introduces sustainability. Hardly any residual waste and no risks. Number 4. Feller Buncher A harvester used in logging is called a feller buncher. It is an automobile with an attachment that may quickly gather and cut a tree before felling it. Bunching is the skidding and assembling of two or more trees, and feller is the traditional name for someone who fells trees. These harvesting tasks are carried out by a feller bruncher, made up of a typical heavy equipment base and tree grabbing device equipped with a chainsaw, circular saw, or shear, a pinching tool to chop small trees off at the base. Logging is regarded as one of the riskiest professions. This is because many loggers sustain injuries from falling big, massive things. Due to the human handling of equipment during logging procedures, struck by an object accidents are the most frequently reported injuries in the forestry sector. This is proof that robotic harvesting tools could lower the frequency of hit by accidents. The machinery shown here is the 822E Feller Buncher from TigerCat. Its features in selective felling applications include a powerful lift capacity, a tight tuck boom shape, and a compact tail swing that reduces site impact and residual stand damage. Its high horsepower and effective hydraulic circuits give the operator quick, responsive control. Number 5. Rigo Fill Our streams and creeks are becoming more filthy due to increased surface water runoff, which stresses the network and produces localized flooding. Frankish is prepared to assist you in putting your climate adaptive plans into action on your next green infrastructure project. You may ensure that extra runoff water can be held without taking up any space above ground by establishing an underground stormwater detention or retention system. 
The Frankish Rigofil ST is an underground modular geocellular stormwater storage system, one of the highest void ratio systems on the market. Its void ratio is 96%. As specified by the makers, this system enables you to set up storm drains and drainage systems. Even in nations with advanced construction technologies like Germany and France, there are frequent instances where rain or groundwater simply has nowhere to go. As a result, it builds up and causes issues, so it's time to put up a single drainage storage and treatment system. Several units are available, ranging in capacity from 59 to 107 gallons. To avoid other utility lines, they can be buried up to 20 feet beneath the ground surface. With the help of a customized program that is accessible from any device, and the primary material being recycled polypropylene, which has a minimum lifespan of 50 years, the design, construction, and monitoring of the work will be made much simpler. Number 6. 3D Printed Houses the Dutch subsidiary of the D-Hoop Turnusen Group developed a new idea for residential building systems in collaboration with Bianchi Casform. This technique, known as 3D Benton Casco, involves creating fully prefabricated concrete housing modules in a precast factory under regulated conditions. After being carried there, the housing components are quickly coupled together. They serve as the foundation for new buildings. For Casco Total, the manufacturer Bianchi Casform created a custom-designed mold. The concrete module is completed in a carousel system once it has been produced. The carousel's many positions have insulation, an internal brick layer, an electrical system, a heating system, water pipes, and other necessary components like a kitchen and bathroom stall. A 3D Benton Casco home module has a similar visual appearance to a traditional building, but because it is produced under optimal circumstances, the building, finishing, and insulation quality are greater. A key component of this strategy is maintaining the function of construction partners, including architects, planners, developers, contractors, and subcontractors. A remote control unit with the required buttons for moving the pallets to the next station, visualization software, many sensors to identify the position of the pallet, and an electrical control cabinet controlled by a PLC all contribute to the system's overall automation. Number 7. Koala Lifter a disruptive self-climbing technology called Koala Lifter scales up the wind turbine by supporting the tower's strength. The Koala Lifter's primary innovation is how its expanding collars envelop the tower. Koala Lifter may therefore be used with any wind turbine model, regardless of height. Koala Lifter climbs in the same manner as a koala and embraces the wind's turbine tower like this adorable animal does when climbing trees. The Koala Lifter can make significant adjustments like replacing blades and nacelle components and installing turbines. Using a wave compensation platform, these maintenance and erection variants can also be used in the offshore sector. The high degree of adjustability of the collars is one of Koala Lifter's key benefits. Their flexible friction collars allow them to mimic the size and shape of the wind turbine tower. With winds up to 25 meters per second, Koala Lifter can climb the tower using the tower's strength, minimizing wind turbine downtime. This ensures operation safety, robustness, and dependability. While the first portion's expanded collars are tightened throughout the ascent, the second part expands towards the nacelle with its extensible collars open. This second section's expandable collars are tightened when it reaches its final stroke. At this moment, the first portion's collars are opened, and the second section begins dragging the first. This procedure is repeated to get to the component that needs to be replaced until the equipment reaches the tip of the tower. A 40-foot conventional skeleton trailer can transport the entire piece of equipment. This idea makes it simpler to transport koala lifter around the globe to nations where big cranes are scarce or prohibitively expensive. A radio frequency remote control is used to control it. The job related to the employee is all done on the bottom floor. Number 8. Ballast Tamping Machine A tamping machine, also known as a ballast tamper, is a self-propelled, rail-mounted device used to pack or tamp the track ballast beneath railway rails to increase the stability and levelness of the roadbed and the tracks. This job was carried out manually using beaters before the invention of automated tampers. Tamping machines are needed for concrete sleepers since they are too heavy, often over 250 kilograms or 550 pounds, to be lifted by hand. They are also quicker, more accurate, efficient, and labor-intensive. To ensure a more comfortable journey for passengers and cargo, and to lessen the mechanical strain caused by the rails by passing trains, several modern machines, often called tamper liners or tamping and lining machines, correct the alignment of the rails to make them parallel and level. This is accomplished by locating areas where the track has sagged due to the weight of passing trains or the impact of frost. Each sleeper and each rail are raised by the tamper, which then packs ballast underneath. When the sleeper is laid down again, the sagged rails sit at the proper level. Combining tamping and lining into a single machine saves time and money, as only one machine needs to be run over the track to perform both functions.